I, my name is Doug Miller. I first became a teacher in 1968 when I went to Malawi as a volunteer or cooperant, as they call them today, with CUSO, Canadian University Service Overseas. And uh, I taught at a small rural secondary school where I met my, my wife, uh, a Malawian woman again, another uh, uh, brilliant and uh, just, just really hardworking and talented lady. Who has uh, has uh, who we're still together and uh, now with uh, four children and seven grandchildren. So we were uh, teachers together in the same school, and that's how I got to meet him. And uh, over the years, we got to know each other, and um, things happen, life happens, and uh, we've been married since 1971. And um, and all over that period of time, we have been. Uh, sending home money to support particularly uh, Nellie's mother and and the many children that she's had to look after. The AIDS uh, pandemic hit uh, Malawi very hard, very early. Uh, many um, people came home. Uh, their their socioeconomic climb up the uh, socioeconomic ladder foreshortened by the death of a breadwinner or a, a partner, uh, and the children ended up back in the villages. So we've had the granny. Uh, looking after grandchildren uh, from from the 80s, and uh, so uh, so it just became more and more urgent to send money home. But in the last few years, we realized that uh, both Doug and I are hitting retirement age. We'll be soon on fixed incomes, and also with our children, uh, they decide we decided together that we should form a small organization, which we called Makupo Development Group. Makupo is the name of my maternal grandmother, and we also have a vill our little village is called Makupo Village. And so this is how it started. We we started uh, with small projects. We started with the well, and the six of us, the Montreal Millers, um, got together and we tried to figure out what the best thing was. And the well was the start, because of course water is the main. Thing that they need it's the main resource that they they need on a daily basis for gardening for cleaning for bathing for eating drinking so we started there and uh, that's how that's how it got started pretty much one of the groups that have been helpful is a union group uh, in Ontario right now they are providing us with seed money to build um, a hostel this is for the project that we have been doing where we have uh, students from colleges. Like the first group was the students from Vanya College that went to Malawi. And they stay in the village, they stay with my people, and uh, the people provide them with the services like you know cooking and uh, washing clothes, and they pay uh, the people in the village uh, whatever the agreed upon rate was. Uh, this has been uh, one of the more uh, profitable uh, in terms of income generation and one of the more um, gratifying in terms of being an educator and it's a nice combination as a retired educator to be able to take uh, Vanya students to uh, a place, a country, a village that I know and love so well and give them a, a, a rather deep learning experience. Um, I realized that I think it's fairly inevitable that you see all these things on the television. You see, like, that you, for the price of a dollar, like, the, for the price of a cup, cup of coffee every day, you can help support so-and-so person. And you, but when you get there, you realize these are people exactly like you or me. These are people that there's, there's a fundamental connection. There's, they're different in basically no ways. That, and that was, like, I was... I was surprised that, that surprised me, um, but it's I, it's a feeling that I think people should be aware of that these are these are people exactly the same like these are people exactly like you and me. And uh, so you 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 come back just to change person. These these aren't pathetic beings that need help. They're they're not looking for charity. They just want a chance. Give them a break. And uh, so it, I can't change the world economy. Uh, it's the World Bank, it's the World Trading Organization, it's the IMF, it's a, it's a whole system of multinational capital that uh, keeps Malawi poor. I can't change that. 
But if I can provide these little opportunities for self-motivating and, and, and self-starting, self-sustaining a small enterprise, then at least in our little area we'll have had a little impact. <laughs>